The total solar eclipse is expected to be on April 8, 2024, with the path of totality in the United States going from the Gulf of Mexico to the tip of Maine. Outside this path, most of North America will have a partial solar eclipse, which is nothing like a total one. As the country prepares for the total eclipse of the sun, NASA is issuing a warning for people as they go to view it. According to NASA, the totally eclipsed sun is about as bright as a full moon in the sky and is just as safe to look at directly without eye protection. But during the partial phases before and after totality and throughout the entirety of the partial eclipse, it's not safe. During these periods, the sun is dangerously bright and must be viewed only through special purpose safe solar filters. Overexposure to sunlight in these parts of the spectrum can cause severe eye injury, ranging from temporarily impaired vision to permanent blindness. Additionally, viewing with a camera lens, binoculars or a telescope without a special purpose solar filter secured over the front of the optics will instantly cause severe eye injury. Here are the few guidelines which you can follow if you want to enjoy the partial eclipse phases as well. View the sun through eclipse glasses or a handheld solar viewer during the partial eclipse phases before and after totality. You can view the eclipse directly without proper eye protection only when the moon completely obscures the sun's bright face. As soon as you see even a little bit of the bright sun reappear after totality, immediately put your eclipse glasses back on or use a handheld solar viewer to look at the sun. If you don't have eclipse glasses or a handheld solar viewer, you can use an indirect viewing method, which does not involve looking directly at the sun. One way is to use a pinhole projector, which has a small opening. Project an image of the sun onto a nearby surface. With the sun at your back, you can then safely view the projected image, but do not look at the sun through the pinhole. Regarding eclipse glasses, Note that these are not regular sunglasses. Regular sunglasses, no matter how dark, are not safe for viewing the sun. Safe solar viewers are thousands of times darker and ought to comply with the ISO 12322 international standard. Lastly, seek expert advice from an astronomer before using a solar filter with a camera, telescope, binoculars or any other optical device. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for regular updates.